Janice Lozano, and you're watching Pinoy Buzz. On today's episode, we have an exclusive interview with Mr. Pure Energy, Mr. Gary Valenciano, and his recent concert here in Vancouver. So Mr. Pure Energy and the Philippine Concert King, how did that come about? I think it's the perfect time for it to happen, where you have over two decades of two guys that were looked at as rivals and now they're like brothers and we're ready to come out and rock the house. word that comes to mind when you say Mark Rivera? Crazy. <laughs> Isn't he? He's so Wild. crazy. <laughs> no, but it's it's the kind of crazy that's um, that makes fun. you feel, yeah, yeah. You, you end up smiling and going, yeah. that was fun. I, I enjoyed that. There's never a dull moment with that guy. They might call me pure energy, but after the concert, I'm exhausted and he's ready to go. <laughs> he's still ready to meet and greet people and all that. And then you have Gabriel, my son, who not many people know, but when we have some dance numbers here in ASAP, he's the one who arranges it, he's the one who produces it. Wow. So you have that side of the spectrum. Then you go to the other side where it's more on the ballads. He produced two of Jericho's, Jericho Rosales' songs. Oh, wow. One is the, um, the song called Na Alalaka, which was used in Aga Mulak's movie In the Name of Love. And of course, the theme song of Green Rose. And both became number one in different radio stations wow. you know, in the city. Now, so, as a dad, how do you feel? Oh, as a dad, <laughs> I can just sit back and go, like, son, you brought me closer to my retirement. Right. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's awesome to, to see your children, you know, grow to be that way. And he's got so much passion. I'm telling you, it's like 4 a.m. And then I receive a text and go, Dad, Dad, can I send this to you? Because it's a good song. I want to... Wow. Oh, God, it's 4 a.m. It's amazing. <laughs> but then I, I stop thinking and I go, but that's the way I am with, right. with Angeli. I wake her up. Han, Han, can you come downstairs? <laughs> it's three floors. Yeah. She comes all the way down to the music room just to hear... Your song? A, like not the whole song, just a small part. And I say, nice, no? And she's like, it's not even done yet. I said, yeah, but nice that part, no? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go back to bed. <laughs> but that's how I am, and that's how Gab is. So, um, if Gab is any indication of the kind of artists, like young artists that are out there today, then I think that the music industry is definitely in good hands. Co-writer, my son, Gabriel Something about Mr. Gary Berlin channel that a lot of people don't know. Maybe one thing that people don't know about me is the fact that it doesn't really take much to make me feel good. If I were to go out and people were to take me out for a snack, a simple sandwich would do. It doesn't have to be anything that's, you know, um, from some high class, you know, restaurant and all. We can go into a little store and hold in the wall. <laughs> Come, let's eat. You know, and those are exciting moments for me. Now what about the best advice given to you and that you'd like to share with all the viewers out there? It, it happened uh, a few years ago. I was waiting backstage to come out and perform at the music museum, and I had absolutely no voice. And I had, I had prayed, and you guys know about my faith. I pray a lot and all. I 
and still the voice was not there. So a dear pastor friend of mine came into the room and he goes, what are you worried about? And I said, I don't have a voice. How am I supposed to come out there and talk about God when I don't have a voice? And he said, yeah, but Gary, even if he didn't, even if he didn't give you your voice, he would still come up with a show that people would not forget. And that's happened. Oh, no, no, it's not, not about me, it's yeah. about him. So I step, whether it's a pop concert or an inspirational concert, it's still him. Yes. You know, you, you, you're not, I'm not a man of faith only when I do my songs of faith. No, it's, 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 the, whole, it's the whole thing, the whole package is, that's what I'm about. So when I stepped out on stage, not only did I have a voice, but I had enough for the next day because there was another show the next day you know so wow, that's yeah it, it all came back it was it was an amazing feeling to know that even if you seem like you don't have anything left to go on whether it's a concert or at work or in school or anywhere you may be any sphere of activity you get yourself into if you know that you have a connection you know with with god and give him the room to be who he is you know and just let go and let god and then poof, everything else takes place Whoa.